Hey, what's up, hello, and welcome. My name is Maya, and today we have an episode of Family Dynamics. So, so excited to play this family, as always. Um, right now is Tuesday, and we are currently on Gen 2 with Jaden, and I was looking at the challenge rules. We are almost pretty done with this challenge, believe it or not. I know it always seems like I'm, aw, how cute. I feel like Dayton feels like Jaden is the only kid that he's close to right now, and it's just making him really sad. Um, but I was looking at the challenge rules, and we're kind of close to finishing it, believe it or not. Jaden, believe it or not, because you have to get to level 10 video gaming, level 10 programming. We're on 9 and 8. We need to complete this aspiration, but we can only really reach level 3 of the tech guru career when we get into the career, which we're not in yet. After that, I think we just need to get to level 5, which we're going to be in with a degree. And I think the last thing we have to do is like be on the computer for 100 hours, which we can like kind of do in our sleep. Where are you, Jaden? All right here. Dayton, why are you just in the bathroom with Jaslyn? This is why Jaslyn does not like you. See, look, she's mad that you're in the bathroom with her. Actually, him and Jaslyn has been getting on along a little better now. Um, but she has school and it's her last day of school because I think tomorrow's her birthday. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, one day until age up. So tomorrow's her birthday. Uh, so it's her last day in high school. She's only a B student and she just got a B student. Like it took her that long to get into a B student. Maddie keeps working out. I'm not making her work out. She's doing that on her own. Um, yeah, she's been working out and getting healthy, I guess and losing weight she looks good but it's like doesn't look like the matter we know and love i mean if she wants to keep working out she wants to keep working out i'm not gonna fight her for it we are also almost done with school we only have four days left in the term and we only have two final exams so it's not like we have to do any like essays or presentations which is great and today is geek con which i'm so excited about if you did not know with the challenge rules Jaden has to meet his spouse at geek con so my plan is to meet the spouse today on Tuesday. Um, not saying we have to marry whoever we meet, but I'm hoping we meet someone. I also reset Jaden's um, attractiveness features. So I basically regenerated them. I did not select them on my own. I regenerated them and now he finds Ariella basic looking or unattractive. One of those, which is what I wanted. Um, and I don't really know who he finds attractive now. He has been talking to two girls on Simda. I said I was going to do that off camera to like, you know, give him some options to date around. Can he marry any of these girls? No, because he did not meet them at, um, at GeekCon. So we have Cece Larson and we have Harmony Nicholson. Both of these girls were regular townies and I gave them makeovers and I did not change any of their features. I just slapped skin details on them um, and called it a day. And I think he finds both of them attractive. Yeah, he finds Harmony attractive. Um, we have not met either of them in person. So what technically, since we haven't met them in person, if they're at GeekCon, can that work? I don't know. But he finds Cece Larson extremely or very attractive. None of them is extremely attractive like he found Ariella. Um, which is type sad, actually. Let me see. Wait, why does he perceive Ariella as very attractive again? It was unattractive. I re-rolled it and it said she was unattractive. Oh, so annoying. Do I have to re-roll it again? All right, and GeekCon officially started, but it said we have to meet our spouse in um, cosplay. So I kind of wanted to get to cosplay. And then we're going to bring his drone and he's going to stream there. And I kind of want him to bring his nephew as well. So we're going to bring um, Aiden. Aiden's a kid now. He aged up off camera. He's a big boy. And Ariel is pregnant. She probably had her kid already. But um, yeah, so we can stop over and drop off Aiden to their house and see if Ariel gave birth. Um, and if we have a niece or a nephew in the family, I'm so excited. So yeah, let's head to GeekCon. Actually, first, let me get him dressed into a cosplay outfit and then we'll get him to geek con with aiden all right we're at geek con with little aiden and of course we had to induct aiden into the geek life and um we're dressed up as star wars characters so i hope you guys like it um yeah let's go though and do some things here at geek con over here is the hackathon i think and um everyone is using the computers so annoying but I wanted him to go here because I want him to scope his surroundings. 
and see if he finds anyone like attractive in the area. But he's like so busy being funny with his nephew. He's like, this is this is how you become cool. Honestly, though, what are you setting your nephew up for? A life of cosplaying and video games? I mean, that's not a bad life, honestly. I'm trying to see who's here, though, if there's anyone we know. Oh, this person is related to um, Cece Larson because they have the same last name, Lee Larson. Does that mean Cece's here? We have Lindsay Mercado. I just want to know who he's going to find attractive. Oh, the challenges have begun. We should definitely enter a challenge. Um, but first, let me scope the surroundings and then we'll enter the challenge. Is there anyone you find extremely attractive? Please. All right. He found some people that sparked his interest and they have hearts over their head. So we have this girl right here, Maggie Holmberg. Oh, man, I didn't see who the other people were because he did it too quickly. Well, I played around. All right, let's try this again. Sorry, Jaden. That was my bad. Let's scope again. We have Maggie. Is that the only one? Oh, he's attracted to this girl, too. Um, Over here. Is there anyone over here? I think it's just because he's close to them, too. That's all they're going to show us, maybe. Or maybe it's only these two. Um... Let's introduce ourselves to Maggie. I want to get a look at her. Oh, she's very pretty, even without a makeover. But she kind of looks like Ariella, doesn't she not? Like, I don't know. Are you really over Ariella? Because you find Ariella attractive too. Let's look at this one. I'm going to go to the other side of Geekon in a little bit and meet people. She's beautiful too. And she doesn't look like Ariella. Both of them, I think, are adults too. Jaden is also streaming right now too. So yeah, and doing the hackathon. So, mm-hmm. He thinks Maggie is cool. All right, cool. We at least have somebody in our friends group that we met here. I want to introduce ourselves to someone else. And then I want to also go over here and scope the surroundings because there's like so many people over here. After we're done with the hackathon, we'll go over there. Scope the surroundings over there. Maggie's really cute. My only thing is that she kind of looks like Ariella, like the head shape and everything, but she's very, very pretty. I don't know. Maybe that's just his type, but I kind of want him to like get away from being in love with Ariella, which I thought he was going to do when I switched his, um, his attractiveness features, but he still finds Ariella attractive. Should I try to redo it again? Um, so this is what I selected, um, last time that they're all random. All right. Now, when we go over there, we should have new attractiveness preferences and let's see who we find attractive. Yeah. Cause we think Maggie's very unattractive now. Okay. Oh, and we have negative sentiments with Asuka. So it doesn't really matter. I wonder if what we think about Harmony and Cece now that I did that. Harmony, we perceive her as very attractive now. Okay. Before it was attractive. We completed a hackathon with the score of 99%. Like if we don't win. All right. I want you to stop talking to these people and come over here and see if you find anyone else attractive. With Cece, we think she's basic looking now. Okay. All right. Let's scope the surroundings again. All right. Let's see who we found this time. Oh, all three girls right here we find attractive. We have Ruth Climate. We have Jill Do It. And we have Lindsay Mercado. Lindsay's a scientist. Somebody over here too. Who's this? Um, let me friendly introduce myself to all of these people. This is Lee Larson. Oh, so the other Larson we find attractive now. All right. Um, but we, we talked to your sister, so we're not going to do that. I can't even see Jill's face because it's covered. But I kind of like that aspect that we don't know what she looks like. Lindsay Mercado. We can't see her face either, like her features or anything, because she's like covered. Um, but we can see Ruth Climate. But yeah, these are the three or four that he was attracted to now that we switched. Jill, please don't leave because I want to introduce myself to you. Um, oh, we won first place. We received a computer. Nice. No money, just a computer. I mean, I guess, but... Jaden will really want the computer. We think Ruth is sophisticated. Okay. We're not going to introduce ourselves to Lee Larson. But Jill, I think, left. And that was someone else we found attractive. Uh, he just thinks that she's attractive. Oh, and she has a spouse. Never mind. What about you, Lindsay? You don't have a spouse. We just perceive you as attractive. Um, but you think of us as just cool. I really wished Harmony showed up here because Harmony is so cute. 
I don't know. I felt like this was a, a dud. We didn't really meet anyone that like we find extremely attractive. I think we might have to come back here next week and try to find someone. I mean, we did find some people, but like none of them are like, mm. Asuka's not bad. And, but, oh, they had negative sentiments. Never mind. And it's officially the end of Geekon. And I don't think we found anyone that can be the potential spouse of Jaden. And he's really stinky. Um, I'm like trying to go through the people. She's married to Gideon. Lindsay's not married, but I feel like we had negative sentiments with her. But she thinks we're cool. And she's an adult. I mean, I don't mind an adult. That's not an issue. Ruth, yes, married. Yeah, I don't think we met anyone that like I'm over the top for. So we are going to have to go back here next week during GeekCon. So in one more week, which will make Jaden way older. Should I just bite the bullet? 12 days until age up. Should I just bite the bullet and choose one of these girls to go on a date with? I think I am. And then you'll have to let me know in the comments if we should come back here again next week and try to find someone else. Or if you want to make me sim so we can like meet them here at GeekCon. But we're going to head back home. I, I was going to stop at Ariella's house to see if she gave birth. But when I went to go give Aiden his outfit, she didn't. Like there was no baby in their household. So it's no point of stopping over there. So we're just going to head back home. Um, and we will probably pick back up in the morning with Jaden and university. All right, it's the next day and it's our girl Jaslyn's birthday. And of course she's singing. She freaking loves singing. She also has the music aspiration. I was thinking that maybe we should write songs on the mic for her. I feel like she really wants to run away to Dell's. She looks like so blah singing, but she loves singing. Okay. Um, there she goes. But I was thinking that we should bring her to Del Sol Valley um and that's where she'll live because she wants to be famous but she doesn't want to tell her parents because they think she's going to take over the restaurant like they agreed that she shouldn't have to go to college because she's never been interested in school i don't know if she has to go to school today because it is her graduation i did make her get tickets too um did you finish no go to class there you have class right now what are you doing oh my goodness of course. He was like, nah, I'll come in and, and use the bathroom. So annoying. Go to class. But I was thinking that maybe she can have her birthday in a karaoke bar. Um, and she'll go out with friends later. And I think I'll bring Jaden as well. That way he can bring um, Harmony. So a little bit about some of the girls. Well, not some of the girls. One of the girls we met at GeekCon for Jaden. Her name is Lindsay Mercado. She's an adult. Um, and I was like, you know, we don't have any like true negative sentiments with her or anything like that. And we perceive her as attractive. So I'm like, you know, let me give her a makeover. She has three girls and yeah, so she's a mom, but low key, I've been seeing Jaden as someone that would definitely be like stepdad material, if that makes sense. So I don't mind that she has kids. I think it's actually really cool. Um, we perceived her as a nature maniac, but I was like looking through. She has no nature traits. I think it's just because she's a scientist, so that's why. But she thinks we're cool and we think she's attractive. Um, but I don't think I want to pursue anything right now. I want to hear more from you what you all think. Do you see him as like stepdad material? I definitely can see him being a stepdad. Um, of course, we'll have like his own kid for the next generation. But let me know because we have to meet someone at GeekCon. So he can't even get with Harmony in the long run. But I don't know. I feel like we can't just like I always marry the first sim that my sims meet. And I'm tired of it. So yeah, I'm going to give him a, like a little relationship and then eventually he'll get with Lindsay or someone we meet at GeekCon next time. But I thought Jaslyn was supposed to go to graduation today. Remember Jaden like just went? I don't know. I got her a mic though so she can write lyrics. Let's do an epic ballad. Maybe she's writing a song for Harley. Her and Harley are still like, you know, flirting a little bit. Um, and they like each other. We're going to age her up when we go out with her today. So, yeah. Um, should be fun to see all her friends. He's in a playful mood. And he has no more class today. 
Maybe we can just invite Lindsay over to play video games. Let's see what she does if we send her a playful text. Because we don't have to go out with Jaslyn until later. I was going to bring her to the arcade. So let's see where she wants to go. Or if she wants to do anything. This. I'm going to put this actually in Jaden's inventory. Oh, yes. All right. She said, let's go out and have some fun. And she wants to go to the park. Okay, we can go to the park. Um, and I think I put the cake in Jaden's inventory. That, that way, after we hang out with Lindsay, we can invite Harmony to, um, to I don't know, should we go to the arcade? No, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the karaoke lounge since Jaslyn likes to sing. Um, but let's head to the park with Lindsay. All right, we're here at the park with Lindsay. Um, does she find us attractive? She's a scientist. I don't know. I just wanted to um, dress her up a little bit more because her traits were like bookworm and outgoing, I think she had. Um, so I don't know. I felt like she'll be more dressed up. I have no clue where she's going though. She's like running in here. Um, I'm surprised her daughters aren't at this park, like that she didn't invite them. All right, we got a personality hint. She's a sage personality. Oh, and she's family oriented. Oh, are they flirting? I don't know. I think I just want to naturally let them talk. Okay, yeah, they are flirting. I'm not doing this. She is very pretty. I feel like what's going to happen is because she's an adult, she's older than him, and she has kids. I feel like he's a little intimidated by her because Jaden is very lazy. He's a slob. He doesn't like doing anything. Um, so well, what doesn't he like about her? Something. Um, but I feel like he's a little intimidated by her lifestyle and trying to keep up with it. And plus she lives in the city and he's like, I don't know if I want to move out to the city or be in the city. Like he's just very, very unsure and a little immature. And I don't think he's like ready for, I don't know, a mature woman like Lindsay. But I think Harmony is more fun, outgoing, young, and she doesn't want any type of like relationship really. I feel like she just wants to have fun in the moment. And I think he's more comfortable with that. But we're going to see with Harmony when she comes out with us. Let us let me know in the comments what you think about that backstory. And if I should get him with Lindsay in the long run. Because we did meet her at GeekCon. So obviously she does have like a little um, video game um, side of her that he doesn't really know about. So yeah. But they seem like to, they're getting along. Like I'm not making them talk. They're just naturally having conversation. They're gossiping. Um, I think now that I'm like seeing her in the world with him i think she's really cute and i think like she would make Jaden a lot more responsible um look he's even talking about being non-committal um i think she will be great for him and he's claiming to be a criminal mastermind and she's like not entertaining it i think he's like trying to like make it seem like he's more than what he is because he's nervous like she's an older woman he doesn't know what to do poor Jaden. now she's trying he's trying to tell her a joke and she's like not getting his sense of humor and it's like that was such a bad joke Jaden. oh my goodness poor thing oh maybe we can adopt a little kitty there's cats everywhere i definitely see him like the cat type not the dog type because he's lazy and dogs take a little bit more work they actually look really good together though he even put on jeans for her love that Maybe suggest some fun activities. He's a little bored right now. He's like, hey, I'm going out later with um, some friends if you want to come. I think we might invite her out with Harmony. Like, they have no romance. Yeah, they did flirt a little bit, but they didn't really, like, you know, get a red bar or a pink bar. So she wouldn't be jealous if she's out with Harmony and him. Um, plus, I want to kind of get their friendship up and get to know her a little more. I I'm actually really liking her. I think she's very pretty. I think um, she will be good for Jaden in the long run. She is older, but not by much. I, I mean, yeah, it is by much. And she has three kids, but still. Because Jaden doesn't even become an adult until 11 days. Is he autonomously playing the guitar? He never plays in front of people. And he's feeling comfortable enough to play in front of her. She looks really tense right now. Maybe she's like thinking about her kids. Like I need to hurry up and get home to my children. But he literally never plays for anyone. I wonder if we can, I don't think we can serenade her because she's not um, 
we don't have any pink bar with her but that was like a big thing for him to play the guitar in front of her maybe discuss interest with her and see if you have anything common they don't have any uh, traits in common but still so she's also innocent so she has the innocent and the sage personality i wonder if she's tense because he asked if she wanted to go out with harmony and him he wants us to join jocks jason i know you want us to be close but bro we're not the sporty type we can have separate interests maybe we should try to tell her a joke to lighten the mood um so let's tell her a funny story i don't know you guys have to let me know what you think about them too i don't know i the more i see her with him the more i'm feeling it and like the idea of him being like a stepdaddy is so so cute like He'll be such a good stepdad because he likes video games. He's very childish. And I feel like kids will like gravitate towards him. She has two daughters that are children and they are, I think, twins. They look spitting image of each other. And then she has a baby, like a baby baby, not like a, like a toddler, like a baby baby. So she just had a baby recently. Maybe that's why she's tense because she literally just had a baby. I didn't even think of that. I don't know who the children's fathers are. She's not married to anyone and they have her last name, but she looks like she's a single mom, but she got her shit together. So I like her. Oh, and she's talking about switch. Oh my goodness. She's gossiping about a streamer. So it, it's clear that she sh watches streams and she likes video games too. Oh my goodness. I don't know you all. I like her. But we know he's not going to be with her like right, right now. I don't want her to get married or anything. I might move her to a played household so she doesn't. I'm moving too fast, you all. I'm moving too fast. Um, but it's getting late and I don't want the cake in our inventory to spoil. Um, and it has 13 hours. It's not going to spoil soon. Um, but I think she is leaving, which is like perfect timing because we are going to go to the karaoke lounge with our sister. Stop. That cat is so cute. It is a stray. It's an adult. Bella. Bella. Let's give a friendly introduction. The little sweater. Bella, how did you get a sweater? Don't leave, Bella. Jaden, you better get up and get this kitty. He's just sitting here on the bench thinking about Lindsay. And I think he's thinking about Harmony too. I He hasn't met Harmony in person. So this is the first time they're going to meet in person. But he's feeling like good about himself. This is the first time in a long time that he's happy. He's content. He's not like in love with Ariella. Bella, don't walk by us. Bella. Bella's like, mm, no. Bella, should I just add Bella to my household? I can, I can just, it's a stray. It's not like it's someone's cat I'm stealing and I'm afraid she's gonna run away. We're adding her to the family. She's not about to leave me. Look at the little kitty with her sweater. I feel like she's a lazy little bean just like Jaden because she has a sweater on, I don't know. She's so cute. Oh, look at her. Come over here and give a vet treat. Oh, look at her. Bella, come over here. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like so excited to get this little kitty. Uh, Good thing Lindsay invited us here. I've been wanting to get another pet since Marley passed away. Um, oh, the little kitty is so sad. Bella, are you hungry? We'll give you a little treat. Oh, so cute. She's our friendo. Oh, we just became friends with Bella. We're supposed to be going out for our sister's birthday. Oh, he has a little cat. Jaden is officially on the mend, you all. He's no longer a depresso. He's no longer like super sad. He's moving on with his life. And like, I just want the best for him. He's so cute. So, so cute. But let's send her home <laughs> because we need to go out. Wait, wait, is she going home? Yeah, put her down so we can send her home. Oh, he loves a little kitty. We don't know anything about her, I don't feel like. Um, let's send you home. Bye-bye, kitty. We'll see you at home, Bella. Let me know if you have a better name than Bella. Um, hopefully something like computer related. I don't know. Um, but I don't think we know any of her traits. Nope. All right, on that note though, let's head over to the um, the karaoke lounge 
and invite Jaslyn and her friends and have a good old time. Ariella can come. Jason can come, obviously. I don't think we're going to invite Dayton and Maddie because I feel like they're the older brothers and we're, we're taking her out to like a club for the first time where she can drink and party and we don't need our parents cramping our style. So let's head over to the karaoke lounge. Right, we're all here and we decided to come to Del Sol Valley um, because I feel like Del Sol Valley is close to Oasis Springs, like that deserty feel. Just thinking about where like LA is in relation to like Arizona in the US. And I don't know. I always think Oasis Springs is like, kind of like Arizona or Nevada. Um, and they're both close to LA. Not like close enough that you can drive there, but like close proximity wise. So I just feel like Delso Valley is close to those worlds. So let's start the gathering with her friends so her friends show up and we can age all of them up too. We kind of have to do the age up right away, but this right over here is Harmony. Look how cute she is. She's such a cutie. I love her so much. Too bad we can never ever... Bella, Bella, I sent you home. Bella's like, I want to party too. You know what, Bella? You can stay. Um, But this is Harmony. So let's go over here um and say hello all right um and then let's put the cake somewhere in here so that way um is this a movie theater it said it's a karaoke bar please tell me there is karaoke stuff upstairs oh there is okay good we can do the karaoke up here i'm like hello i like that it's three things in one though woohoo everyone's coming upstairs they're in like in a big group where can I put this that she can blow it out? Okay, yes, now she can blow out candles. Come over here, Jaslyn, and blow out your stinking candles so we can, like, finally start this party for real. Happy birthday, Jaslyn. Aw, everyone's celebrating. That's so cute. Her brothers are like, yes, we're going to get you fucked up tonight. Our baby's all grown up. The last little of the Wallers all grown up. She's like, yeah, I'm definitely moving out here. Yes, age up, Jaslyn. If this lady eats my cake, I'm going to be so mad. All right, she's a music lover, vegetarian. She wants to move to Del Sol Valley and, like, have her best life. Mm, I feel like... I don't know what I would do for her. Maybe ambitious? Yeah, I think ambitious would good, go good for her. No one eat this freaking cake. While we're aging up the girls in the background, um, Jaden, what are you doing? Where's Harmony? Hello, Harmony, you better not have left. Oh no, she's down here. Let's go down here. Oh, she's so cute, her voice and everything. Let's, let's flirt a little bit, actually. Let's um, compliment her appearance. Like, you look good. Like, she's so pretty. So, so pretty. It's awkward because Ariel is here, but like, Ariella, you're married to our brother. Oh, this is cute. All of them down here. And then, like, Jasmine's up here with her friends. Love that for her. Let's go over here, though. Can we sing a duet with Harley? Let's do a, a girl. We're going to sing next. Let's do pop. She's so annoying. Like, you know we wanted to sing on that. Would I be wrong to reset her? Oh, she's lucky that Jasmine wants a piece of cake. I'm going to let her get her piece of cake. Oh, and they're down here just chilling. Love that. Let's see if we can figure out some of her traits. I don't remember her traits because I made her over like a while ago. That's why I'm like, she's so cute because I forgot how cute she was. I wish we met her at... um at geek con because she does like she fits the aesthetic and that was like my hope that she'll show up but she didn't so it's not you harmony um but this is like so so awkward because we know she's not going to end up with her but i just want him to end up with her so bad and I, like i was just like simping over Lindsay, and now i'm like harmony's here and she's neat that's like perfect because he's a slob jason's like um did you get me a drink because i would love to have a drink um, let's confess attraction to her. He finds her, like, extremely attractive, just, like, being around her. Mm, don't blame him, though. Oh, and Ariella did have her baby, because clearly, like, you know, she's not pregnant. But the baby's name is Aria. I didn't name the baby. She named the baby Aria. And it's so cute, because I love Game of Thrones. But also, it's an A name, like Ariella and Aiden. 
Would I be petty if I discuss expanding his family with him again? Like, Jason, I feel like you're the one that's going to have the most kids. It seems like his brother and Ariella like Harmony, though, so that's good. I was thinking that Harmony be his girlfriend for now, and because he's, like, unsure with Lindsay, like, she never gave him the idea that, like, she wants to be with him or anything, and she's older, like I said, that um, he's going to hold off with being with Lindsay until he feels, like, sure of himself in his career. Not saying, like, he won't be with Harmony. Maybe something happens. Maybe Harmony's low-key toxic. I don't know. Um... But yeah, we'll we'll do that. We'll have him date Harmony for a little bit. Um, I don't even know if he'll ask her to be his girlfriend or anything like that. Um, I feel like he's just lazy. So he's always going to be lazy even when it comes to relationships. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Jaslyn's up here watching karaoke with her girls. They're probably like, you know, we need to become like a girl group and move to LA. Ooh, can you imagine if all of her friends become a girl group? Like they all look like di so different. That I can definitely see them being in like a girl group. That's cute. I like that idea. So she's definitely going to move to Del Sol Valley with her friends. This girl has been hogging this. Now it's time to reset you because enough's enough. Thank you. Oh, Harley's so cute. This girl better move. Oh, so cute. They are so cute. I love them. Excuse me, Harley. Harley's like, no, I'm not singing with you. You're too good of a singer. What the hell? Why'd you cancel it? You know what? We're going to sing by ourselves then. <laughs> She's like, I'll have fun by myself. <laughs> Look at her. She's having a great time. A natural performer. Yeah, we're definitely moving her to Del Sol Valley. She's having so much fun. Happy birthday, Jaslyn. <laughs> That's too funny. Where are you going? Oh, you're so nasty. You're going to nap in the dumpster. I guess we'll end the episode off here because Jaden's ready to go nap in the dumpster. Um, But no, he had a really long night. It's like five in the morning. He has, I don't think he has class tomorrow because he only has class on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, But next episode will be his last time in university. He will be graduating done and he can start his career, which is exciting. Will he settle down finally and maybe make a move with Lindsay? Or will he embrace the party life now that he's done with university and party it up with Harmony? Let me know down in the comments. Either way, he can't marry Harmony in the long run because he did not meet her at GeekCon. But yeah, I had so much fun this episode and let me know down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye now. <laughs>